Hello and welcome back to Alley Gaming, where we are starting another franchise mode episode. Last episode, the boys clinched a playoff spot and have been superb. So, we are now going to sim to the end of the regular season. And then after that, we're going to do some scouting and play the first playoff game. That is the schedule for today. And as usual, Seattle Lions here looking real strong. Okay, boys. First game. All right, let's go. 4-3 win. 5-4 shootout loss. That's okay. 5-4 OT win. 3-2 win versus New Jersey. 9-4 victory and a 4-3 victory versus Boston to get 50 wins. What a season, boys. All right. Let's check if we won the division. Yup, we won the division. 108 points. That's what I consider a great season right there. Capo Caco, of course, our leading scorer. You already know, 75 points in 80 games, very good season. Jamie Noondyke, 70 points in 82 games, very good. Uh, that's a career high in points. That's a career high in points and goals. 30 goals, 40 assists, superb. 67 points for Vince Gibson. That is a career high in points, but not in goals. Career high in assists. Pierre-Luc Dubois, 64 points, 82 games. Very good. Actually, what I was going to say is this this isn't a career high for Capo Caco. Because last season, he had, uh, two seasons ago, he had 84 points, 32 goals, 52 assists. But this is a really good bounce back year after a mediocre 60-point season. Pierre-Luc Dubois, Clayton Keller. A, not the splash I was hoping for, but still, uh, that's a pretty good, pretty good season. Fifty-eight points. Kel McCarr, baby, what a pickup! Fifty-seven points, straight away for Seattle. I see some statistical growth for his future. Morgan Viscoskis. Okay, so this is something that I've been wondering about. Is Leave down below whether Morgan Miskoskis should be in the second line for the playoffs ahead of Gabriel Landeskog, or should Gabriel Landeskog be ahead? Because Gabriel Landeskog, he has experience on his side, but this has been a, by far his worst season for us. 41 points, that's a noticeable drop-off from his regular 60-point pace with us. Uh... I mean, I don't blame him. He's getting old. And he's playing second line minutes. Dougie Hamilton, 38 points. But how many of those were with us? 15 points in 22 games. Let's go, baby. What a trade deadline, but trade deadline pickup. Isaac Lundstrom, 37 points. Yeah, not ideal for an 86 overall, but like, he's playing on the third line. So I kind of expect that. I got him for the depth. Uh, he's going to be good to have. Yavis Bluin, 36 points as a fourth liner. That's really good. Matthew Hughes, too. Clough bomb, eh? That's a good season. Uh, regularly, he doesn't put up that many points, as you can see. So that's along his par, 30-ish points. Joy Eriksenak, overall, just a good season. Uh, yeah. And let's see our goalies. So this is the goalies report. Hellebuck didn't quite have a good season before he got injured. Um, mostly because, you know, I had very weak defense. And I was playing on all-star difficulty before, which was way too tough. David Riddich, 902. So what I was saying the other day was, look at these. Look at the stats, okay? Full career. He's been with us for, like... A long time now 
look at these stats, okay? One year, 918. The next year, 889. The next year, 907. Uh, the next year, 879. The next year, 915. So he's either superb or he's terrible. There's no in-between. I mean, he broke that trend last season when he went 915 again. But he's back to being super inconsistent, okay? Because it's always, it's either high nine, it's either mid nine uh, tens, or it's like low nine hundreds or below nine hundred, which is terrible. But like, I still trust him because he's a good backup, um, like most of the time. And then. Billy Huso actually did really good in the six games he backed up. I mean, those are awesome numbers. 929 save percentage, 1.8 G8A, 5-0-1. That's what we like to see here, boys. Um, AHL, right over here. Didn't end the season too well. But 108 points, we win the division at angle, 93 points. We looking good here, boys. We looking good. Okay. So, NHL regular season has ended. AHL regular season has ended. Oh, yes. Hello, Buck, baby. He's back. The man himself is back. The cheat code. Okay, so, Billy Huso, you had a good run. But it's time to do exactly what we'll always do, which is... We need Hellebuck back. And let's go. Billy Huso here. You did well. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Make you go down to the HL. Hopefully he doesn't get claimed. I don't think he will. But... Yeah, he didn't get claimed. So, that's good for HL and NHL. Um, we needed, we needed some more goalie depth, because we can't have a 59 overall backup. Like, I know Kapokakinen will play the whole playoffs, but still, in case he goes down with injury, we need, like, we need a good stuff. 9-0-1 in our last 10 games, we have been killing it. Facing Winnipeg, that's actually a pretty good squad right there but first let us check face-offs because now is the time when we make edits so for this game i'm gonna leave the lines how it is but let's see our face-offs so dubois right here 85 face-offs not the best 81 face-offs jamie new and dyke that's not good uh Vince Gibson, 84 face-offs. So Dubois actually has best face-offs right there. So I'll, I'll put Neon Dyke on the left wing. Um, Capo Caco, face-off 70. Ouch, no wonder I lose so many face-offs with him. 76 face-offs for Clayton Keller. We don't necessarily have... The best face-off guys. Okay, Gabriel Landis, Gog, 82. I'm gonna put Kako on the wing. Gonna get Dubois. Um, on this line, Morgan Viscoski, 61 face-offs, yeah, no. Isaac Lundstrom, 86 face-offs. But that takes away that plus one. That takes away that plus one, so... Hughes, like, 84 face-offs. That's actually really good for a 21-year-old, for a rookie. Yves Bluin, 82 face-offs. That's good. What about uh, Joy Erickson Eck? Not as good as Anders Lee. This is just crazy. The fact that he's doing so well. But yeah. Gonna switch the lines a little bit, just like that now. Switch Dubois to center and Landis Guard to center. And then defense will stay the same. P 
power play and all that will stay the same. Goalies, Hellebuck, Redich, scratched Hagen, Kapanen in case we got any injuries. Um, facing Winnipeg, let's see, let's see their lines here real quick. So, if we just click select, edit lines and strategies, actually no, not edit lines and strategies, yeah, edit lines and strategies, maybe, starting lines. No. Um. Sorry. What if we? If we exit, and what we do is we. We go to view lines right over here. Go to Winnipeg. Kyle Corner, Shifley, line a deadly first line. Second line, Ehlers, Tyler Johnson, Lipsick. Our second line's way better. West line in, Smith, Wirtanen. Our third line's better. So overall, they have a deadly first line, but after that, their depth isn't as good as ours. Morrissey, Brodeen, okay. Decent first pairing, but our... Yeah, overall, our depth is just better. Our defense is better. Goalies, they do not have good goalies. So I think... I think we're in a good position to win this. Um, actually, I'm not going to start the playoffs this time. Let's view our contracts. Maybe sign... Okay, Dubois, I definitely want him back. What does he want, though? 8 mil. We have to clear up some space for that. Landeskog is probably the person I'm looking to move on from. He's been awesome, but I don't know. His production's just not where, where it used to be. And we have some contracts upcoming that we need to sign. Uh, we'll probably part ways with uh, quite a few people, actually, this year. Because cap issues. Clothbaum is probably one of those people. He's been good, but 5.6 mil for an 83 aging person. Not exactly what you would like to see. Victor Haig, true, definitely. Um, in the system, though, Malco uh, Dalcol, I'd like to keep him. I'd like to keep him, because 81 overall, it's really good. Lekanen, too. Like, these are just gimmies. Tamela, I'll wait on it. Lindbergh, I'll wait. Vigar, I'll wait. Steenbergen, Sean Walker, Ty Ratty. I'll wait for all of these guys because they're not as important. Thralfa, I'll probably sign him next year. Um, lots of good prospects in the system. Yeah, that's good. And then let us... Um, what is our progress report looking like? Okay, Clayton Keller grew a little bit. Okay. Statistical growth? Yeah. Statistical. Wins Gibson. Some statistical, some moral, some natural growth. Just good growth overall. Hallebuck. Statistical minuses. I'm not too worried about that. Lundstrom. Some statistical, some natural growth. Yeah, overall. Uh, Viskoski is some natural growth, I think. Yeah, natural growth for Morgan Viscoskis. Clefbaum has some minuses in natural growth. That's okay. In the system, bottom six, he'll be traded. That's what you like to see, though. Sedin, 68 overall, 19 years old, growing pretty well. 74 overall, 18. That is awesome to see. This guy will be traded, traded. That's good growth. Robert... Tarnstrom, that's also good growth. Uh, he'll be traded, 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 
traded.